Right then guys, here we are with my pre-recorded clip of me holding a stick that is going to be turned into a lightsaber. Now, what I have done in advance, as you'll notice on this, I've put a few little X's at the bottom and the top so I can track my lightsaber to the stick rather than having to key it in frame by frame, which is going to save us a lot of time in the long run. So with this clip, we jump into the fusion panel and the first thing we're going to do is create our lightsaber. So we bring in a background node, oops, and we want a white background. Then we bring in a polygon mask, and we're just going to uh, click, shift, and click again, and that's going to give us a straight line to represent for our lightsaber. Now, at the moment, there's nothing showing. We just need to bring the border width up a bit so that we get a border that is showing our lightsaber coming through and uh, just apply a bit of soft edge just to make it look nicer and what we're going to do then is we're going to take this background and if we add a glow the second one in the list this will give us the option to add color we're going to add a red glow because I'm going to the dark side and let's have a look at this we need to bring the spread down that's far too high and let's bring the threshold down a bit Try and get a nice edge on this lightsaber. So that's a start. And we're going to add in a another glow. And we're going to do the same again, but we're going to let this spread a little wider just to give us the, the nice glow effect around the edge of the lightsaber. And then we're going to add in a soft glow. It's going to give us a nice bright image. So we'll bring the gain down a little bit. Threshold. Let's mess with the glow size to what we want. That looks about right for now. So if we merge that over our image, we can see what our final result is. <coughs> now if we use our polygon to line it up with our start position. how we're starting to look so it's not quite covering the entirety of the stick that I've used so we need to make it a little larger so if we're going to our polygon bring our border width up a little bit and there we are that's nicely covering the stick and it looks pretty much like a genuine lightsaber at the moment so you can go into these uh, settings and you can mess around with things while it's here just to see how you want it to look particular in your scene if you want a bit more spread on your glow there's nothing to say you can't do that it's all personal preference this so I think that looks about right for me so once you've created your lightsaber there's a couple of ways of um, applying it to your your video transition um, it's not a transition it's a video but it's either way. Um, you can single handedly go frame by frame or however many frames you need. If you can do it with three or four frames you can do it like this. So that's if we move forward five frames and keep moving to where our tracking points are showing. You can start and get an idea of what it's going to look like but I personally think that's a painstaking task and if I can avoid it I certainly will do so that's the reason why I put a few tracking markers on my lightsaber stick and I'm literally just going to bring in a tracker node and I'm going to have two trackers tracker one will be the top side of my lightsaber and tracker 2 will be for my bottom side <coughs> now you're not guaranteed to get a good track first time as I found out so you might have to play with the settings a little bit but I found using best match gave me the uh, the best track so that's them set up and uh, we need to be on that first frame uh, 
Similar case of tracking those two markers. There we go, they're tracked. And now, if we want our lightsaber to follow, it's very simple. We go into our polygon node, we right click on the top of our uh, lightsaber, go down to polygon one polyline, down to publish, and we want to publish to tracker one position. And with the bottom part, we want to go to polyline, publish, publish to tracker two position. And that is going to assign those tracking markers to those two trackers that we put in. The two polygon points to the two trackers that we put in. So if we go to the edit page and we full screen to view our lightsaber effect, we get this. And there you have a lightsaber tracked to tracking markers and it's a pretty cool effect if I do say so myself. So thanks for watching guys. If you want some more, just like and subscribe and I will keep them coming.